Hello my friends, today's video is going to be a bit different. I'm here with some sad news to share. Welcome to PSK Aqua. Sadly, things don't always go perfectly in the aquarium hobby. Just like in life, everything has an end. Here on the channel, I've always shared the ups and downs. And today I need to tell you that my dear friend Rainbow, my flower horn fish, is no longer with us. That's really sad. He was part of the family, just like me. Losing him leaves a big empty space. It really does, Rick. Over time, I've lost many fish in this hobby, and it's never easy, even with the smallest of fish. But Rainbow, that one hurts a lot. Oh, it's going to be tough not seeing him in the tank. But what exactly happened? It's going to be really hard, yes. Uh, unfortunately, he had a swim bladder issue, which is common uh, with flower horns. Swim bladder? They have that? Isn't that for mammals? Not at all, Rick. Fish have an organ called the swim bladder. It's like a gas fillet pouch uh, that helps control buoyancy. Basically, how they float up and down without effort. But in Rainbow's case, the swim bladder became a problem. What bad luck! When did this happen? I don't know exactly what triggered it. I went on vacation in August uh, with my family. And the day after we arrived, I checked on him through the camera. And he, there he was, lying on the tank floor. Since you were far away, there wasn't much you could do, right? That's it. I was too far to get back. And even if I could, it would have taken days to do the treatment. I left a trusted friend with the key house, but he only knows basic emergencies. He doesn't know how to do a full treatment with water changes, medication dosages, and so on. And from distance, I could even be sure what he had. So, is there treatment for swim bladder issues? It's really tricky and difficult, but yes, there are treatments with aquarium salt, Epsom salt, a special diet, certain antibiotics, and even surgical uh, procedures. But in Raymond's case, things were serious. So, did you try any treatment? I did. I tried three treatments, actually. I did everything I could. But since it had already been eight days between the symptoms appearing and the first treatment, things were tough. First, I tried a treatment with acriflavin, but it didn't work. And then, what was the next step? Then I tried Bactocid 2, a medication that treats swim bladder infections, balance issues and works against protozoa, fungus and bacteria. Alongside it, I had Epsom salt in every dosage of the treatment with Bactocid 2. But that didn't work either. No, unfortunately. I had high hopes for it, but it didn't help. And the third medication? I tried a specific antibiotic, ciprofloxacin, along with more Epsom salt. And even that didn't work? Sadly, no. Rainbow fought until the end, but in the end, he didn't make it. He held on since August, but just this week, he couldn't keep going. Wow, so there was really no chance. No, unfortunately not. The flower horn is a genetically modifying fish with a recent history. Its genetics uh, are still not perfect, and even though they are a strong and resilient fish, they often have issues like this due to the weaker genes. I didn't know that. That explains a lot. Sadly, this is a common problem with flower horns. We can only try to make them comfortable without being able to fully cure them. I kept feeding him uh, carefully, doing water changes, everything as if he were healthy, but it was hard seeing him laying there. It was so painful to see such an active and interactive fish slowly fade away. It really was, Rick, but I did everything I could. I'm here today not only to honor Rainbow's memory, but to let everyone know that fish keeping has these moments too. I leave you with some clips of Rainbow in his prime. Don't go just yet though. I have a question for you all at the end. Heart of glass, if you 
So my friend, as you saw, Rainbow is gone, but his memory will always be part of this tank. And now, I'm wondering what to do next. So you're thinking about getting new fish? Maybe, Ray, but I'm also a bit undecided. So I'd love to hear what you all think. This tank is a water box marine, set up for saltwater fish, but it can still be used for fresh water, as it has been. So what do you think? Should I sell it? Start a mini reef or stick to fresh water? Good question! Let us know in the comments! I'm on the edge of my seat to see what's coming next! That's right my friends! Share your opinions in the comments! Let's see what the future holds for Rainbow's tank! Thanks for watching and don't forget to give us a big like, comment, share and subscribe to help us keep going! Thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video.